Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back for more of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we fused our newly forged white sword with our two elements, the earth element and fire element. We had a short encounter with Vati, and now we are in the Castor Wilds, and we are unable to get any further because we don't have any Pegasus boots. So in this episode, we are going to go to Hyrule Town and go get some. So let's get on with it. Let's see. Yep, so they're right there. We need some Pegasus boots. Because we were stupid enough to come here without some. And I was actually stupid enough to not do something up here last episode. And that was... Pushing this boulder. Yeah. Dumb old me. Anyway. Short little... Walk back down to Hyrule Town, and actually I'm hoping I can run to the mailman here. No. Guess not. Oh well. Let's see. Huh? Oh, fantastic. He passed out. Huh? Okay. Looks like furniture can also shrink us as well. That's right. Even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but hey, they are quite crafty! Jesus. Oh, town Minish. Hey, hey, you're Link, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? Man, word gets around real fast here, huh? Oh, you need Pegasus boots? Why, wow, you're just in time! We made a pair just now while Rem was sleeping. But only Rem can put the finishing touches on them. Haha, <laughs> that sleepyhead Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's hut. It's a little bit of a trick, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Okay, Minish would have been there before. Shouldn't be too hard to find. So, just gotta go to the Syrup's hut and find whatever it is in order to wake up Rem. Shouldn't be a difficult task. And hold, postman, postman! Faster, no. Wanna fuse Ken Stone's wit, yeah. I really wish I could do more to help people. Wait, I've got it! I'll ask Swiftblade to start up a newsletter for adventurers! That'll be a great way to provide a useful service for everyone. It's going to be a lot of work, though. I should get Marcy to help me. Yeah. Something interesting's going on there. Perfect! I can feel the super delivery power co coursing through my veins! Now I return to my route refreshed. Uh, but hey, I got a lot of letters I gotta send to Zelda's, but since she's turned up- Hey, get- <sighs> Freak. Postman, anyway. Going in here. Let's grab this. Boomerang. 300 rubies. Nice. Yeah. New item. Boomerang. Well, that, this thing's fantastic. Look at that range. Uh, hope we get a better one later on. But anyway. Let's get over to the Minish Woods. Actually, I want to go over here first. This is important. That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. Something fishy about this rump, too. Is it these masks? Probably. Oh, wait, we can fuse Kinstone pieces with this guy. Huh. Red Kinstone pieces, those are pretty important. Seems to be along the way where we're going. So, what a better time. Ah, freaking boulders. Well, no, these aren't boulders, these are just rocks in the way. But oh well. What 
the hell's going on here? I lost my key and I can't get inside and the spare key's inside the house! Wait, can Stone Fusion help here? Nope. What a pain, and I was thinking of going to town to sell lawn line milk into town. Don't worry, Link's here to help ya! By sneaking inside, is the size of an ant. And now I'm inside your house. Grab your key. I'm on a ranch key. And we just gotta show him the key. Here you go. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Link, that's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. Oh, thank you very much, Link. Come vis visit us again. I will right now. Dude, I know you got another Kinstone piece you want to fuse. But you don't seem to have it right now. What the hell? I know he has another one. But anyway, let's go in here. Something important in here. Bigger wallet! Now we can carry more rubies, I believe... 500? Something like that? How tranquil, and those cows look so... delicious! Okay, Ezlo, but let's focus on our task right now, and that's getting to that syrup hut. It's just fun to say, syrup hut. Actually, we want to go up here real quick. Get the pain of... Uh, pain. Cane of Pachi out! Bell Falls. This place will be impor important to us later, but for now, its only purpose is to get us a piece of hot. Just, I cannot even talk right now. Probably because it's really late at night and I'm recording this and I want to go to bed, but I gotta finish this right now because I have not recorded in about two weeks. Yeah, this Let's Play I'm recording a lot very well in advance. Those last five episodes were all recorded in July, and I'm recording this... August 11th. Yeah. I really just want to record these episodes in advance before I actually start this Let's Play, which, yep, you guys, by the time this is uploaded, will probably be halfway through the month. Okay, I won't be that cruel, but anyway, I'm just going to stop talking about the future right now. Let's focus on this. Focus on the Minish Cap, God damn it! Here, real quick, just for a little something. Red Kinstone piece, and I know exactly what I want to do with this. But, I'll focus on that certain something once we finally get through Syrup's Hut. going through these tornadoes. Just to get past this body of water, which otherwise we would drown in because Link can't freaking swim. Lake Hylia, even though we can't get to the lake yet. Actually, we can technically, but I just took a different route. Minish Woods, I need to destroy this gold knock rock. Not just because it holds a lot of rubies, but because we need some because I spent all the rubies on that freaking boomerang. In fact, why don't I just use it right now? And I can't even because I just destroyed the gold knock rock. Oh well, at least I could use it to just grab the 100 rubies that was right in my face. Oh well. All digging absolutely prohibited. It's not like I can dig in the first place. Syrup the witch's hut. Get in there, Link. Ah, welcome! Care for some Granny's homemade p blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy. Please look around. Uh, more interested in this. Wake up, mushroom, huh? 60 rubies? Not a bad price. That'll pop his eyes right open. Pop! 
Thank you. Then we just gotta get out of here. Oh yeah, something important before we get back over to Hyro Town. We want to go into this tornado. And get into this tornado here, and actually, something a little note. This tornado, I actually believe, is not in the PAL version of the game. They took it out for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Just a little fun little trivia. Anyway, fuse Kinsto pieces with this gore on here. It's been a long time since the last time I visited Hyrule. Way to use time in the same sentence, buddy. Twice. I think I'll set up a little place where I can sell my kinstones. Hmm, they fit perfectly, so that's good. This is one solid wall. I'm going to need a few friends to give me a hand. Not to worry. As there's someone down here who has a kinstone fusion that might be able to help you out. I feel so much stronger now! Here we go! Phew, it's about time. Looking good, though. I'm going in! This is a pretty lengthy side quest that requires a lot of progression through the game in order to complete. So we won't be completing that one anytime soon. Another little thing to get on Mount Cornell once we have to go back there to get more stuff. Once we start focusing on side quests. Which I'm de still debating on when I'm going to tackle a bun bunch of the side quests in this game. Probably... Debating either after the next dungeon or the one after that one. Depends on how many side quests I want to get done at once. But for now, what's over here? Ooh. Welcome to the Adventure Spring. I have need of many rubies. Please throw all of yours into the spring. Uh, sure. Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rubies left, right? Will you really throw them all in? Why not? Sure. You are most kind. I do not really need your rubies. But I must reward such a kind adventurer with some of my power. You got a big wall now! You can carry more rubies! May the light shine on your quest. Now we can carry 999 rubies. Awesome! But now that we got that out of the way, got a max wallet, got that wake up mushroom. One last thing I want to do before we wake up Rem. Actually, two things. First is right up here. This freaking guy. That greed cap. That greed clothes. Are you perhaps a fairy? I knew it! I knew it! Tingo wants to be a fairy too! Actually, Tingo has some kinstones, you know! And I have given kinstones to my brothers too! If you can fuse kinstones with me and each of my brothers, well... I don't want to give it away, but you'll get something very, very, very good! Good luck, Mr. Fairy! Oh, Tingo! Oh, I thought I killed you at the end of Wind Waker! Oh, but then again, this game takes place before that, so I can't really complain about that. Anyway, we want to go back to our house here, just to talk to our grandfather, to fuse kinstone pieces with him. This is 
is a very important kinstone piece, and why is that rock over there? We destroyed that. Finally, a perfect match means we're in for some spectacular good luck! Anyway, I'm just gonna cut ahead back to the treasure chest. You got an empty bottle! Use it to store all sorts of things! Nice! Anyway, back to Hyrule Town! Would you get out of my damn way?! If I recall correctly, and I guarantee I do, my boy, I think Syrup said to stand in front of a sleeping person and press R. Like this? Whoa! What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake-up mushroom? I should have guessed, so you woke me up. Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Huh? What now? There are more new shoes? You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me up, you can have them. Hold on a sec, though. I just want to finish this one last bit. And there we go. Here, take these. Those are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light, you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. Yeah, who needs to walk on sunshine when you can walk in the air? Hmm. Yeah, I bet she'll really enjoy those shoes. Anyway, let's try out these Pegasus boots. Whoa! I can run super fast now, but first, now that we can run like the wind... Let's talk to Swiftblade. <coughs> ah, yes! You have the Pegasus boots, and you seem to have more skill, too! Yes, I am ready to train you again! So, would you like to train here? Please. You will now learn a new technique, the Dash Attack! First, equip the Pegasus boots! Second, equip your sword! Third, run like crazy! That's all, young swordsmen! Do you understand? Yes! Yes, yes! You are my finest student! Just equip your sword and the Pegasus boots to any button you like! But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it! That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique! This is a swift blade possession technique of training! Watch this! Rah! POSSESSION! Rah! Phew! Now, you must try it yourself! Equip the Pegasus boots and your sword, and then run like crazy! Like this? Yes! Fine work! You learn quickly! I will now give you this Tiger Scroll! If you ever forget this technique, you can learn again from this scroll! <sighs> that voice is a killer. Come again when you can jump farther than any other! All that just to learn another attack that Link to the Past Link could do. <sighs> Finish Cap, you were one of the weakest Links, and goddamn, my throat is killing me! Uh. But anyway, back to the Caster Wilds. Okay, now we can finally cross this dank swamp. Uh, can we make it through this without the Pegasus boots? Yes, we can. Out! Oh, God! I do not want to get comboed. Brings back some bad memories. What is down here? Oh, oh. Besides, damn snakes that I believe are called ropes. Huh? Hmm. So a guardian is protecting the treasure. Take care while fighting it. Ugh. What a hideous face! It's no good, Link! We tried to settle this peacefully, but some people just can't be reasoned with. Implying this is a person?! 
Oh my god, I cannot believe we did that, and a Kenstone piece on top of that. That is freaking awesome. That is freaking amazing. Which one did we get? Oh, awesome. We really need that one. For something very, very, very important. Uh, I believe we want to go... Up. Yeah, we want to go up here. First to go in here. We got a Deku Scrub. Fusing Kinstones before I even decide to talk to you. Yep. Silly arrows, but you don't have a bow. Oh, great, thanks for spoiling the next item. So it looks like there's a bow around here. Now that one nasty looking statue, that eye is such an evil glower to it. No kidding. Ugh, I hate these damn things. Anyway, shrink. And don't even go into that muck while you're a minute. You will take a lot of damage. Mainly because you spawn right next to it if you sink. And yeah, just... Just be aware of that. But anyway, Gus Jar. Come on. And down here. Oh god, enemies! Uh, come on! And we have, if you haven't already guessed, Bo. We're gonna need this to take out those statues. With those big one-eyes of theirs. Just blow, 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 blow! King of Red Lions has got nothing on this. Alright, uh... Come on, equip the bow. Yep, yep. Let's try this out. Nope. Ugh. That was way too close. If only we could shoot faster. Oh well. Maybe I'm asking for too much. I mean, we just got this thing. Oh! Five arrows. Nice. Uh, I think those are P hats. I don't know, they look a lot different than they did in Wind Waker. Oh, nice, Kinstone Piece. And they especially look a lot different than they did in Ocarina of Time. Anyway, we want to go south now. Here, come on, stop. Stop moving slow. Ah, uh, yes. Another one. I believe there's one more after this one. Let's see it. Blue Kinstone piece, nice. Uh, tombstone. Oh, not another one. Another piece of heart! We did a heart container. I would talk to this guy, but I really do not want to kill my throat, and besides, we can't even get the technique from this guy yet, so I'm not going to talk to him. Plus, I really do not want to lose my voice. Any more than I already have. Order of the sacred powers we granted the power of win. Hey, that stone marker crumbled, and there's another one of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times... I see that happen, it still rouses me. And I'm about to get rattled by this snake! I guess you could call that a rattlesnake! <laughs> uh, I had to, I'm sorry. That was just 
The perfect timing. Oh, I freaking love Stone Cold. But anyway, enough about freaking WWE superstars. Just land down here. Push this. And grab this kinstone piece. You know what? What are these gold kinstone pieces for? Hmm? Oh. For these things. Mysterious statue. Well, that rock's out of the way now. The wind ruins. Anyway, we're actually getting... Uh, this is way farther than I wanted to be in this time limit. To be honest, I was hoping I could get here through the 20-minute mark, but alas, I couldn't. But anyway, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we're going to explore the wind ruins and hopefully find that wind element. See you guys then.